What's up Tech Gang, Stefan here from TechRide. Today we're going to be talking about the Galaxy A51 Dolby Atmos Audio and how to use it. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, so I've been getting a ton of comments about the Dolby Atmos that's actually in the Galaxy A50, in the Galaxy A51, and many other Galaxy devices. So just for the Galaxy A51, I'm going to be showing you what you're supposed to do now, you can replicate this on any Galaxy device that has Dolby Atmos audio. Just know that. Alright everyone, so as you see, we have Dolby Atmos right there. And uh, if you go ahead and click on that, it says this effect works in earphone and Bluetooth headset modes only. Now, starting off, I want to tell you what Dolby Atmos is. Dolby Atmos is basically a more clear and concise and surround sound experience when listening to music and watching movies and or video. So you're going to have a much better experience when you do turn this on. Um, we do have other modes that I'm going to show you in a little bit that you can actually turn on depending on what activity you're doing. So first and foremost, we're going to need a pair of headphones. So we're going to need either Bluetooth or we're going to need a 3.5 millimeter head jack. Now we have one right here, as you guys can see. And as you guys can see right here, it doesn't work when we click on it, when there are no headphones plugged in. But once we plug a pair of headphones or connect them to Bluetooth, let's go ahead and plug it in right here. Dolby Atmos works straight away. So we have the choice to turn it on or off. Honestly, I would keep it on if I were you because there's not really a negative to keeping it on. Uh, you just get better sound quality. So obviously we can turn it on or off just by a click of a button right there. Now, this is basically going to give you a better listening experience, as I said before. Now, we do have different settings that we can actually change uh, that utilize the Dolby Atmos sound. So we're going to go ahead and go to settings. We're going to go to sound and vibration, and we're going to scroll down to sound quality and effects. So click on that. As you guys can see, you're going to have to turn Dolby Atmos on. So it's probably going to be default off. So we're going to click that on. And we have a few different settings. now. We have a little header right here that says experience breakthrough audio for media playback that flows above and around you. So this is essentially surround sound audio, very, very nice sounding audio. We have four settings. We have auto, which optimizes sound automatically for whatever you're listening to. We have movie, deliver the best possible audio for film, shows, and videos. We have music, make all music sound richer, fuller, and more balanced. And we have voice, make voices loud and clear. So we're just going to keep it on auto. Depending what you're doing, you guys can go ahead and change that around and see which one you prefer more. Um, we're going to go ahead and go back. We also have a UHQ upscaler, as you guys can see right here. We have bit upscaling, bit and bandwidth upscaling as well, uh, depending on what setting you want. Uh, I definitely would recommend to not change those settings if you don't know what that is. Uh, now we're going to go to equalizer, and this is where it kind of gets technical. Um, you can actually change the decibels for um, the different frequencies. Now if you guys are... Um, pretty experienced with this and you guys do work in music you guys can go ahead and do this But we have normal we have pop we have classic we have jazz We have rock and we have custom as always so you can go ahead and change the decibels Through each frequency which I thought was really cool So any audio files out there that really want to have a nice sounding phone Definitely turn this on and you guys can go ahead and change the settings. Now we also have another thing that says adapt sound. Now this is really not even part of Dolby Atmos. I just wanted to show this to you because it looked pretty cool. So find the best sound for you and use it for calls and music and video. We have default, we have under 30 years old, 30 to 60 years old and over 60. So you can actually personalize a sound profile for calls. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah guys, I hope I helped every single one of you that was trying to use Dolby Atmos because I think it's a feature that is definitely underused and a lot of people really don't utilize most of the applications and features that are in their phones. So definitely go ahead and try this out. Give it a try if you guys haven't checked it out yet. Again, if you guys did like this video, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you're not part of the tech gang already. Also hit the notification bell down below to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safar from TechRate. Peace out, Tech Gang.